Hello and welcome back to No Man's Land. We're back for another episode. Today we're going to be... What are we doing today, Lauren? Looking around our farms, I think. Yeah, and doing some field work or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh... Okay. Okay, how am I going to... Well, let's just teleport to your farm, Lauren. And you can take us on a tour around your farm. Alright. You're just bringing your buggy back. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, Laurie has got this field here. I don't know if he's finished liming it. I guess. Well, I've got this field here, as you can see. He's also got the other field. I've got the other field down the side of the road, as you know. So, yeah. Right. So, what we're going to be starting off with is... Got well, Laurie here. Laurie, remind me um, after we filmed this episode. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna like take all my steering wheel off the desk and like rewire it and that because I want to put it in a different place so I can still use my keyboard. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. All right, so carry on. So where should we start? Just pick somewhere to start, Laurie. So I guess. In here, so in this shed here, mm -hmm. like the biggest piece of equipment is. Oh yeah. Combine. So huge vent combine. That's the one you bought at the auction, eh? Yep. And this nice little cane bull loader. Yeah, you all be fent tractors here as well. Mhm. Mm and back here is my subsoil there and flail more. Nice. What about this? Oh. Um, here's my log trailer, fertilizer spreader, sower. Nice. What, what's planted in this field out here, Lori? So, this is all soybeans. Uh huh. And there's a couple more fields over here. Yeah. And this field is grass. Okay. And I haven't planted anything in that other field yet, but I think I'm going to plant barley. Nice. What about round here, Laura? What have you got? So, obviously my greenhouse and everything. Um, oh. So, and I've also got my house here. Nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. You got your big dump trailer here, mm -hmm. and you've got a water tank. Yep. And you've got this road here, haven't you, Larry? Mhm. Mm you should probably bring your vulture back to your yard, eh? Probably. Do that just now while I'm. And maybe put your Polaris link up near your other equipment. Coming out to my yard, Lord. Mm hmm. 
just so we can tour it. This is obviously going to be a shorter episode just because we're like just doing tours and stuff. Yeah. At the time of recording this, the first two episodes have already gone out. So, yeah. Okay, so we'll start in. Well, we start over the road here. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a cornfield here, as you can mm -hmm. see. It's doing pretty well. Then we've got that big field over the back of the hill. I'll walk up and show you it. Yep. Then we've got this massive field here. This mm -hmm. is a big field. Yeah. So we got that field. Then, if we walk back over here, onto the other side of these trees, we should have another field. Yes, we do. A canola field. So here's the canola field. Which is good. Mm -hmm. Then we have got a barley field. Yep. Barley field that I'm standing in right now. What then is this? Last but not least, we have got a grass field, mm -hmm. which is good. Right, let's start in the machinery. So we've got our Ford and our soil sampler, then we've got our flail mower and the lever thing that I bought at the auction. Mm -hmm. Then we've got a homemade sprayer. Oh yeah. Which is nice. Then we've got this shed, obviously. Then we have got a water tank, same kind of thing as Laurie has. Mm -hmm. Got some manure in this trailer. Marshall trailer, got a log trailer, got the cane trailer Laurie has but in yellow. Then in this shed we have my new big tractor, my new Holland. Mm -hmm. And a fertilizer spreader, Amazon. Then we have a lizard plow and a class Dominator 8-9 VX combo. Pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not bad. Then if we come up this track around the back here, you can see all oh, one of my grapes has fallen over, I see. Mm. It's not the best, better pick this back up. Good. And then we have in the sheds where all most of the equipment is kept. We've got our Vanistad seed drill right here. Mm -hmm. Then we've got our Crone Compridia Baylor single axle. Then we have got our Rake Amor a Tedder. Mm -hmm. A bale wrapper. And then we've got a Vanistad Tempo Drill. Which is really good. Mm -hmm. What else have we got? Land's starting to come together though. Yeah. It's starting to come together. You want to take your Polaris back, Laura? Yeah. I'm definitely gonna make this a shorter episode if you know what I mean. Okay. Just because it's just tours. Here's my Polaris. 
on my house, obviously. Have a windmill up there. Have a windmill there, and I'm sure we have a windmill over there. But yeah, this is just going to be a short video, so thanks for watching, guys. It's about 10 minutes this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.